Welcome back. We're moving along. We're moving along. Lesson C. Present perfect. Lesson C. Present perfect. Okay, so let's go to the QR code. Give me a second, pulling it up. Here it comes. Unit two, lesson C, present perfect. Questions with ever, short answers. Watch and listen. Present perfect, yes, no questions with ever. Use ever with the present perfect to ask yes, no questions about things that happened at any time in the past. Has she ever lost her passport? Have they ever been to Chicago? Present perfect. Yes, no questions with ever. To make present perfect questions with ever, Use this order, have or has, plus subject, plus ever, plus past participle. Have you ever been to Spain? Has he ever studied French? Has he ever talked to a doctor? Have you ever tried sushi? Have they ever written a paper by hand? Check your understanding. Look at the picture. Complete the question. Has he ever talked to a doctor? Have you ever tried sushi? Have they ever written a paper by hand? Watch and listen. Present perfect. Short answers to yes, no questions with ever. Use short answers to answer yes, no questions with ever. Don't repeat the information in the question. Has she ever lost her passport? Yes, she has. Have they ever been to Chicago? No, they haven't. Present perfect. Short answers to yes, no questions with ever. To make yes, no questions with ever, use this order. Yes, plus the subject, plus have or has. Yes, I have. Or, no, plus subject, plus haven't, or hasn't. No, I haven't. Has he ever talked to a doctor? No, he hasn't. Have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. Have they ever written a paper by hand? No, they haven't. Check your understanding. Look at the picture and read the question. Then complete the answer. Has he ever talked to a doctor? No, he hasn't. Have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. Have they ever written a paper by hand? No, they haven't. Let's review. Use ever 
with the present perfect. You ask yes, no questions about things that happened at any time in the past. Have you ever talked to a counselor? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Has Sonia ever studied French? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Have they ever tried sushi? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Sorry. It was blurry probably at the beginning. I have to position the telephone to get it correct. So bear with me, okay? Sorry about that if it was blurry at the beginning. Okay, so we'll play it again. Unit 2, Lesson C. Present Perfect. Questions with ever. Short answers. Watch and listen. Present perfect. Yes, no questions with ever. Use ever with the present perfect to ask yes, no questions about things that happened at any time in the past. Has she ever lost her passport? Have they ever been to Chicago? Present perfect. Yes, no questions with ever. To make present perfect questions with ever, use this order. Have or has plus subject plus ever plus past participle. Have you ever been to Spain? Has he ever studied French? Has he ever talked to a doctor? Have you ever tried sushi? Have they ever written a paper by hand? Check your understanding. Look at the picture. Complete the question. Has he ever talked to a doctor? Have you ever tried sushi? Have they ever written a paper by hand? Watch and listen. Present perfect. Short answers to yes, no questions with ever. Use short answers to answer yes, no questions with ever. Don't repeat the information in the question. Has she ever lost her passport? Yes, she has. Have they ever been to Chicago? No, they haven't. Present perfect. Short answers to yes, no questions with ever. To make yes, no questions with ever, use this order. Yes plus the subject, plus have or has. Yes, I have. Or no, plus subject, plus haven't or hasn't. No, I haven't. Has he ever talked to a doctor? No, he hasn't. Have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. Have they ever written a paper by hand? No, they haven't. Check your understanding. Look at the picture and read the question. Then complete the answer. Has he ever talked to a doctor? No, he hasn't. Have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. 
Have they ever written a paper by hand? No, they haven't. Let's review. Use ever with the present perfect to ask yes, no questions about things that happened at any time in the past. Have you ever talked to a counselor? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Has Sonia ever studied French? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Have they ever tried sushi? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Okay. So let's go down to practice. Practice uh, two. Okay. So I have to get it up on the QR code. Give me a second. Okay, see if I got it up. Well, it's taking, taking a little time here to get up. Okay, well, I'm having difficulties bringing it up, but we're going to look at it, okay? We're on page 22. Page 22. And we did the top, you just heard the top part, the grammar focus. So, one is done in the book. Has Laura ever talked to her school counselor? No, she hasn't. Okay, so number two, blank your teacher's name. Have you, have you, ever forgotten have you ever forgotten have you ever forgotten your teacher's name and the answer is yes i have have you ever forgotten your teacher's name Yes, I have. You forgot my name. I don't forget your name. The story tease. Don't forget my name. Okay. Three. Three. Blank a book in English. Blank a book in English. Has. Has Joseph. Has Joseph ever read a book in English? Has Joseph ever read a book in English? No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. But he wants to. Four. Have Mary and Paula
ever ever been late to school compound subject compound subject Mary and Paula have Mary and Paula ever been late to school no they no they haven't have Mary and Paula ever been late to school no they haven't no they haven't good students have you ever been late to school okay five plan to speak English with your neighbors okay and it's a question Okay. Uh, there's another question mark there. So we're on five. Five. Have Have you ever tried? to speak English with your neighbors. Have you ever tried to speak English with your neighbors? Yes, I have. Have you ever tried speaking another language with some of your neighbors? Okay, have you ever tried to speak English with your neighbors? Yes, I have. Six. Has Tomas, capital T, has Tomas ever taken the wrong school bus? Another question. Has Tomas ever taken the wrong school bus? No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Okay. So, let's look at it. Lesson C, Present Perfect, page 22. And this is the practice. One has already been done. So, 2A and 2B. Have you ever forgotten your teacher's name? Have you ever forgotten your teacher's name? Yes, I have. Has Jose ever read a book in English? No, he hasn't, but he wants to. Have Mary and Paula ever been late to school? Compound subject. No, they haven't. Have you ever tried to speak English with your neighbors? Yes, I have. Has Tomas ever taken the wrong school bus to school? No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Okay. You know, write me. You have my email. Also make comments to the, the program, okay? If you like what we're doing with the list, list, uh, distance, excuse me, distant learning, contact us. Let us know. Give us your comments, your recommendations, your suggestions. Okay, my friends, we're going to call it a month. The month of May is concluded. We're going into the month of June. We have six classes in June. Then we're going to take a short break. Ciao for now. 
Take good care of yourself.